I was just more into a certain level of lyrical content. Let me see who your favorite artist so, in the South was. In the South, I would definitely <laughs> say that Scarface was I knew was it. One I of, knew it. I already knew was, it. I seen Scarface it. I knew that. Was, I could have said it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Okay. okay. I, want, I want to, because um, I, had, I had a moment to think about some of the artists in the South that I really Got listened it. to. Let's talk about it. As far as lyrically. Um my favorite artist, and because I listened, it wasn't that let, I, I let was... Let me see who it is. It wasn't that I was <laughs> adverse okay. to a region. I was just more into a certain level of lyrical content. Let me see who your favorite artist so, in the South was. In the South, I would definitely <laughs> say that Scarface was I knew was it. One I of, knew it. I already knew was, it. I seen Scarface it. I knew that. Was, I could have said it. I, 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 I started to say it. He was the... Everybody said he was that style. lyrical. He bad, man, he never that, did a bad verse. Yeah, he was that lyrical dude that I was like, yo, I didn't care what Scarface was talking about. The way he talked about it made me want to listen. <laughs> um, I would say Bun B always had Bun lyrics. Lyrical. See, I see where he, he at was, with him. He was lyrical. Eight Ball. Eight mm. Ball. MJG, too. Uh, you um, can't do that. You're not for the lead pimp album. We for to be into oh, it. I'm man. waiting. No, no. That's what I was no, waiting. No, 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 I was waiting. Get mad, yeah, you know? He ain't done yet. Let, let me, I ain't ahead. done yet. I ain't done yet. I like A-Ball and MJG. And um, Outkast, definitely. Outkast okay, were... Outkast kind of made me proud of the South. I just like Andre. Yeah. They, they, yeah he <laughs> always say that. Yeah, they they, um, they made me he proud of the South hard. lyrically. Um, so Outkast, Goody Mob. Goody Mob loved Goody, Goody Mob. Mob's good. They were another group that made me proud of the South. And believe it or not, believe it or not, um, Mystical. Mystical bad, man. But I can't really speak on them because we was on the same label, so I love I, I love a lot of them. He's and different, I'll, though. I'll seem biased if I talk mm. about um, the people on the label. Juvenile. Juvenile was dope. What people Still didn't dope. give P Juvenile um, credit it's for, funny. his style was so unique. That I don't him and Mystical, I, I think that their styles were so unique that they didn't really get the credit I felt they deserved for their lyrical content. You see what I'm saying? Fiend, another artist that I think that his style was so unique that it kind of went over your head that Ain't that was dope. real lyricism. But y'all was hogging the game during that time. I, it, it's not uh, fair, bro. It's like that time. It was it was phases where it wasn't nothing else going on. All the music was dropping with no limit, man. Yeah, and and finally, I really this is this is this was because I had guilty pleasures too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. didn't listen to all lyrical. You know, I always had that artist. I just did. I didn't want to think. I always had that artist who I just liked to hear, and that would be Pimp C. He was. Different. I just liked Pimp's voice, and I liked his tracks. I really didn't care what Pimp was talking about. His voice and his tracks was just fire. I mean that sweet John. He just yeah, had that sound. But, it's, and it's the production, right. he produced. That's, that's what I mean. Yeah, the tracks, yeah. the tracks were just dope, and he just had that voice. Wow. So that was one of my guilty pleasures. It was like it really didn't matter. I just like it. I can't lie, man. Scarface is one of those dudes. You mentioned him first. His lyrics and the way he ride beats, man. It's just, it, it's a difference the way he come in. I used to tell dudes all the time because they would say Jay Z this, Jay Z. I said, nigga. You bring Jay Z, I'm gonna bring Scarface, and I promise you, he gonna know what it is. I just know what type of dude Scarface is. He's not fit to go in there and play with nobody. I don't care who it is. It was Pac. He was going in there serious. Mm -hmm. it, you was not fit to out just whatever he doing. He gonna do it to the max, and it's a problem. But, like you gotta bring it. But that's that's a true artist. I mean, when you in, I, I like to feel I'm the same way. If I get on your song, man, I'm coming. <laughs> I hope. I really hope that you. Um, <laughs> I really hope you do your due diligence, and I really hope that you you prepared. Cause I mean, I'm gonna do me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.